What's up, pro warriors? Imagine playing your favorite Nintendo Switch games right on your Android phone. Sounds unreal, right? Well, the new Nushu Nintendo Switch emulator is officially available for Android devices, and it's blowing minds with its performance. It comes with an updated control layout and significantly improved compatibility. Today, we're going to test if it can handle the heat on a low-end Android device. That's right, we're talking MediaTek processors, Mali GPUs, and less than 6 gigabytes of RAM. I'll guide you through the setup steps, show you the best settings, explain how to add Q Launcher, and together we'll see just how well it runs Nintendo Switch games. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. I want to clarify something. I've noticed some subscribers often mention that all yuzu forks like Uzui, Sudachi, and Suyu are almost identical. However, this isn't correct at all. Each fork is fully unique, with its own set of advantages and optimizations. The developers of each fork focus on different emulation models, optimizing their performance for specific features or game types. As a result, certain forks can perform better with specific games, making it essential to choose the right fork based on the game you're playing for the best experience. Let's start by downloading Nushu app on your Android phone. Open your Chrome browser and search for the emulator. You will get it only on the Nushu official website. Once you've downloaded the APK file for the emulator, go ahead and install the app. After installation, open the app, and you'll be greeted by the emulator's welcome screen. Click Get Started, and then grant the necessary permissions to allow notifications from the emulator. If you've used other emulators like Yuzu or Suyu, you'll notice the features and UI are quite similar, as this emulator is a clone of Yuzu. Next, the emulator will prompt you to enter your production ID or product keys. Without these keys, you won't be able to run any games. Unfortunately, I can't provide direct links to these keys, as it would violate YouTube's community guidelines. Select them from your file manager, and the emulator will confirm that they've been successfully installed. The emulator will then ask you to locate your games folder. Once the folder is added, Nushu will automatically detect and display the games in your library. Wait, at this point, you might be wondering where I got these games and which ones you should try first. Before you jump into any game, it's important to know whether it's playable on the emulator. Yuzu has a compatibility list on their GitLab page, which I've linked in the description. From there, you can check if your favorite game is supported. Make sure you unzip the game files and move them to the games folder. After that, tap Use This Folder at the bottom to allow Uzui Edge access. Now tap Deep Scan and let the system finish setting up the default configuration. Just click Continue. Here's our game list. But before we start playing, let's configure a few settings. Click on the gear icon in the bottom right corner, then select Advanced Settings, and open the General tab. I recommend turning off the Limit Speed option so the emulator can make use of your device's full resources. If you enable Docked Mode, it will increase the resolution but may reduce performance, so leave it disabled if your device isn't powerful enough. In the Graphics section, set the CPU accuracy on Normal. You can increase the resolution to 4x, but I suggest using your device's native resolution for smoother gameplay. Higher resolutions demand more power, so adjust according to your device's capability. Here set Vulkan as API because it provides best performance. You'll also have other options like DRAM, orientation, aspect ratio, and shaders, but I suggest leaving those as they are, as these settings vary from device to device. Play around with them to find what works best for you. If you've messed up any settings, you can always reset them to default. Next, head back to the main settings menu, where you'll find an option to install custom GPU drivers. By default, it selects your device's GPU, and you can install custom GPU for best performance. I've included a download link for these drivers in the description. Please note that only Snapdragon processors are currently supported for custom GPU driver installation. If you're not using a Snapdragon device, unfortunately, you won't be able to install GPU drivers. If you want to add Q Launcher, you need to install firmware. Open Manage Nushu Data, then select Install Firmware. That's it. Finally, let's dive into some gameplay with the Nushu emulator. The experience is very similar to Yuzu, and honestly, I think once you start playing on Uzui Edge, you might not go back to using your Nintendo Switch, if you even have one. For any additional information or questions, feel free to join our Discord server. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for future updates. See you in the next video. Take care.